Oh, here it is. Here we go. Planned Parenthood criticizes Marilyn Monroe movie, it's called Blonde, as misinformation for portraying grief over an abortion. All right, so we need to actually have some lawsuits going on over the word misinformation. Yeah. They love because, throwing that out there. That's their new conspiracy theory, yeah. racist, istophobic. Yeah, yeah. God. I, I just, while abortion is safe, essential health care. Yep. It's not. No. Now, listen, it's, you know, it started <laughs> off safe and rare. Wow. And then they, they literally expanded it over the years using mission creep to kill yep. the kid up to 30 days after fucking birth. Yep. Now, it, listen, this is out of fucking control. Oh, it's it's like, gonna, we're getting into this, like the, the meat and potatoes of this, like the laws that, that are being passed in a lot of these leftoid states. Yeah. It's going to drive you fucking crazy. Well, like before I, before I had my children, you know, I was kind of for abortion in a very limited, you know, uh, circumstance. Usually, I think I was like 12 weeks or less, even yeah. eight weeks or less. Because there's a couple of dozen birth control methods out there. And you can go get the morning after pill. Yeah. Why the fuck do you have to commit murder legally? Exactly. I mean, why the fuck does that have to and happen? And they say, well, what about rape and incest? What responsibility yeah. of that lies with the child? Yeah, and the thing is, is once you say rape and incest, and you're like, okay, well, in rape and incest, guess what's going to happen? Everything is going to be rape and incest. Yep. Yep. Because that, Even that's, though that's literally 1%. <clears throat> of yeah. all abortions. But that's how the left works. Yeah. You give them the inch, they take the fucking mile. Yeah. That's bullshit. Everybody was on board with safe, legal, and rare. Yeah. Now it's just... Now the the stuff that actually constitutes safe, legal, and rare is 5% of all abortions. Yeah, quite literally... The vast majority is elective. Have you seen like some of the stuff they used to kill these kids? Yeah. It's like a fucking... It looked like a turkey cutter. Yep. It looked like a fucking... Meat tenderizer, stainless steel mallet. Yeah, anyone who is in favor of this madness has never actually seen the procedure. No, no. And and like I'm gonna be honest. Um, when I hear about these these doctors who do all these abortions getting attacked and stuff, I have no sympathy for them anymore. I, I really don't. No, because it's nothing but fucking murder. And they're profiteering off of it and selling the parts. Selling, yeah. And yet, after being exposed for that activity, which is illegal, the person who exposed them gets nine felony it, charges. Gets hit with nine felony charges. What charge. the fuck? Whatever happened with that case? It's still going forward, from what I understand. Yeah. They're probably trying to do the drag it out thing so and they can bleed this person's resources uh, yeah, yeah. dry, yeah, just like they do to Matt. They, yeah, that's pretty much what they do. Love it. While abortion is safe, essential health care. Anti-abortion zealots have long contributed to abortion stigma by using medically inaccurate descriptions of fetuses and pregnancy. Oh, like when Stacey Abrams says that the, the sound of a heartbeat at six weeks is a fiction, and it's a manufactured sound that they play to try to sigh oh, yeah. up you into keeping the baby. Oh, my God. What? <clears throat> wow. That is the cult mentality. Yep. That is, like, you cannot talk people out of being in a cult. <laughs> well... It, is, it really is. I, I don't think I could put it any better. And when you look at the facts, okay, now a psychologist confirms here, like you look at this headline here, you're going to miss a lot of real good juicy stuff. This is from uh, July 2020. Yes. Psychologist confirms many women regret their abortions and experience mental health problems. Now, the study that feminists cite mm -hmm. is called the Turnaway Study, which was conducted by a Dr. Pris Pris Priscilla Coleman, Professor of Human Development and Family Studies at Bowling Green State University. She is an abortion activist. Mm. Researchers led by abortion, another abortion activist, Diana Green Foster, PhD. Uh, actually, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I got this backwards. No. Diana Green Foster, she's the abortion activist, claimed that 95% of women who had abortions did not regret them five years later. It's, this is, you, notice, you notice it's a very specific time window. Well, the thing is, is this is similar to the false rape allegation. Yes. They, they, uh, this is cited all the time by abortion activists. Coleman said women are not being fully informed. There are hundreds of studies. This is the only one that they turn to. Mm -hmm. And this is why the turn away study is the only one feminists will look at. You look here, a British survey, 20, 2006, 82% 
of respondents said they deeply regretted their abortions. Yeah. I mean, uh, think about it. Women have the power to bring new life into the world. Yeah. That is an awesome responsibility. That's a superpower. It, yeah, it's a fucking superpower. And, and you shit all over it when you do this. Yeah. yeah listen, man. Um, and when you insist that men can do it too, you shit all over it. Well, the thing is, is these women know they're going to go stand before the man. Yeah. And uh, how are you going to answer to that? Uh, what are you going to say? Poorly. Yeah. Uh, another one here, 2009 study from University of Otago in New Zealand. More than 85% of women reported negative reactions to their abortions, including sorrow, sadness, guilt, regret, grief, and disappointment. And here's a real kicker. Mm -hmm. British Medical Journal 2013. Women who had abortions were seven times more likely to commit suicide oh my God. than women who gave birth. Yeah. So much for your postpartum depression. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I don't want to see anyone kill themselves. Yep. I, I don't want to see men or women kill themselves. And in, I, it just breaks my yep. heart when I hear shit like this. Here's another good one. Here, Professor David Ferguson, who describes himself as a pro-choice atheist, led a research team in a 2008 study that concluded women who continued an unwanted or mistimed pregnancy did not experience a significant increase in mental health problems. Yeah. Further, having an abortion did not reduce their mental health risks. Wow. So 2011 study, British Journal of Psychiatry, 10% of mental health problems among women, including 35% of suicidal behaviors, are attributable to abortion. Wow. Women who had abortions were 81% more likely to experience mental health problems compared to all other control groups. Wh what? All, all other, other control, control groups. Wow. And 55% were more likely to have problems compared to women who delivered an unplanned or unwanted pregnancy. Well, let, let's, all right, let, let's be honest. A lot of these women below the ages of 25, it's not planned. Mm hmm Or they get, like, the, they catch the feels for Mr. Chad, bad boy. They want to try to lock him down. They let one slip by the goalie. And he's fucking, you know, off like a prom, prom dress as soon as he finds out you're pregnant. And you're left holding the bag. Yep. Yeah, you're the bag man. Uh, and shit happens. Yeah. It does happen. There, there are scumbag dudes. You know, well, they they, they, they drop their goo and run like a Jew from oh, yeah. the tax man. Yeah, yeah. We don't say that those guys don't exist, but the vast majority of these unplanned pregnancies, some of them are just unplanned on one side. That's correct. <laughs> I mean, literally, there's when like, there's so many different kinds of birth control. <clears throat> I mean, you can only play the, well, we used two kinds of protection and it happened anyway. All right, yeah. sure. Let me see the rest of the condoms in that packet that you gave me. Yeah. I'm going to pour some water in it, see what happens. Wee! Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just... Now listen, <clears throat> I'm not trying to be that guy that's uh, going to bag on chicks for having abortions. All right, I'm just saying... It's got out of fucking control. Yeah. Now, if they were to wheel this all back and say eight weeks or less, okay. I, I mean, yeah. I'd be, I'd still be upset at that, but I could accept it as a compromise. Yeah. I, I could. Uh, but they, this like partial birth abortion shit. I mean, god damn. I mean, if it takes you. Eight months and three weeks. To figure out if you want to have a child or not? Fuck you. That's right. Yeah. Well, or actually, no, don't fuck you, and don't fuck your friends. You're all unfuckworthy, because clearly you make terrible decisions, and then you think murder is an acceptable way out. Yeah. I mean, that's just... <laughs> why do you think more dudes are going monk? This is why. Well, the thing is, <laughs> is as, as this MGTOW red pill movement grows... And more men pull back. You can see a lot of these women do a lot of underhanded, dirty shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like the two lesbians, I think it was in Missouri, went to the sperm bank, got sperm from a donor, they fell on hard economic times, and, and the then donor. successfully sued the sperm donor, who didn't know either of them, and signed an anonymity agreement yep. for child support and won. Yeah. So, I mean, listen... You're an idiot if you're doing that. You are just asking for it. Yep. <clears throat> mm. Listen, like if you want to have kids, leave the country for two years, 
have a couple kids with the woman that you meet over there and bring them back. All right, because doing it here in the United States with all of the laws and draconian punishments and the TikTok thoughts, it's just not fucking worth it, man. And the only and or lonely fans, I should say. <laughs> Lonely. Fan. Why am I still hot and single? Because you're not hot and you're single by choice. And because you would rather be a cock teaser and get attention and listen, money. Listen, <laughs> in my life, I have dated, I think it was three strippers for very short amounts of times for a reason. All right. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, and I said this before crazy pussy is the best pussy there is. I, nothing, I can vouch. Nothing is going to do <laughs> cheetah flips onto your peg D better than a crazy bitch. Because they want to love bomb you. Mm -hmm. And then by the time they pull the mask off and reveal the crazy, it's already too late. The, the pussy's worn out and all that's left is crazy. Good luck with that. And then that's all nothing but a bunch of fucking uh, <laughs> protective orders and police is getting called. Just and, get them an I love me coat and a Hannibal Lecter mask yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> it's not worth it. Man. It's just not worth it. I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.